the net and you'll find just about anything and sometimes things you don't want to find. It's hard to fathom unless you've seen it and it's not something you want to see. There is no scenario where you can get a prepubescent child to look like they're enjoying this act that they're engaged in. And that's exactly what happened to our viewers who reached out to us in anger, in disgust. What they found was shocking video of child pornography somehow landing on a popular social networking site. The video, about as graphic as it gets. We can't and won't show you the video. But it shows this woman in bed engaging in sexual activity with what appears to be a three or four year old boy. The video, so horrific, our news management immediately reached out to New Jersey state prosecutors, state police, and child welfare officials. We turned it over to law enforcement officials who say they are investigating. In this particular instance, what was striking to me is and uh, was the obligation the station felt. Um, and that was not to really get this in the form of a story right away, but was there's a child being victimized. The emails we got from concerned viewers tell the story of this horrible video. One woman wrote, I find this video to be very offensive and disturbing. This is child sexual abuse. Another emailed us, please help. I'm a mother of two and don't understand how this is possible. And all of the emails wanted police to be notified. Said one email, I believe this woman needs to be prosecuted. At this point, we don't know when or where this disturbing video was taken or whether it was even shot in this country, but somehow it ended up on a lot of computers in our area. New York City police were contacted by other media about the same piece of video. Police Commissioner Ray Kelly says the Computer Crimes Unit removed it from nearly 70,000 servers nationwide. He says the clip has an IP address linking it to Jamaica, and they referred the investigation to federal law enforcement. An internet safety expert tells us people might now try to look for it, but... If they're able to find it, uh, according to their jurisdiction and where they are, and which either prosecutor or DA or U.S. attorney finds out about it and decides to proffer charges, they've got a real problem. Law enforcement officials we spoke to say they sadly see a lot of this on the internet. So what should you do if you see something like this? When you're viewing child pornography, what are you witnessing? You're witnessing a child being raped, sexually assaulted. You have a duty, a moral obligation, a legal obligation in my opinion to do something with that information. The video we saw, we immediately turned over to police. You should too, if someone in your family happens to view it on the internet. Remember, it's a crime, and there are a lot of children out there who are victims. Hopefully, the actions of our viewers will save this little boy and others like him. I'm Joanne Pelleggi, Fox 5 News.